Hi there! In this tutorial, I'll be going over how to quickly and easily create a graphic that features a scrolling video to share on your blog or on your social media. In the past, we've shown you how to create animated GIFs for your sales promos, but sometimes you want to show a longer clip of, say, your website or your blog, so this offers you another option. For this tutorial, I'm going to create a scrolling graphic of Hot Stock's monthly InstaQuotes to showcase what we have available in a dynamic way. So the first step will be recording your screen scrolling on the content that you want to share. We use a tool called QuickTime to record the screen, but there are tons of different applications out there to record. QuickTime allows you to record your entire screen or select your area. So I'm going to go ahead and select just the website portion of the screen to make it look cleaner. You also want to keep the width of your video capture as true to your screen as possible because that will help you mock it up into your desktop image without a ton of skewing or distorting. Once I've selected my recording area and captured my screen scrolling through all the quotes, I'll stop the recording and you'll be able to watch your recorded video right away. Once you're happy with the video, you can exit out of the window and you'll get the option to save the video directly to your computer. Now we're ready to jump into Canva. Once in Canva, you can select your canvas dimensions. I'm going to go with Instagram story size so I can include it on my blog but also share it with my followers on my Insta story. From here, I'm going to set up my background image with one of Hotstock's many tech mock-up images. I'll resize it so that the desktop screen is big enough to see. And once that's set up, I'll go ahead and just directly upload the mp4 file of my screen record to Canva. Once it's uploaded, you can just drag and drop the file onto your canvas. Drag the video over the desktop screen as centered as you can get it, resizing it by dragging the corner in or out. You can crop the view of the video right in Canva with the crop button in the top menu. Just click on your video, then the crop button, and then drag the corners in to wherever you want the video to crop to, and then press done. Because you recorded your video at full width, you should have no problem with wonky sizes when trying to match it up with the desktop in the image. From here you'll want to trim your video to first of all crop out the time when you started, and then ended your clip. All you have to do is press trim and then pull in both ends of your video frame. Depending on the length of your clip, you may need to trim your clip down even more. If this graphic is only for Instagram stories, then you need to remember that the app supports slides of 15 seconds max. So you'll want to trim your clip down to the best 15 seconds of the video or less. The number at the second slider will tell you how long your current cut is in total. Depending on your website, you may need to cut down your clip even more for your blog post. I found that around eight seconds worked for our Squarespace website, but remember, this is just a preview of something you want to encourage your viewers to click and view more of. So just a fun way to provide a sneak peek. Once you're happy with the positioning and length of your clip, I recommend turning down the opacity of the video slightly to make the screen look more realistic. After that, your graphic is completed. Feel free to add any extra text or graphics that you'd like, maybe your website URL or a phrase that explains what you're previewing.
And all that's left to do is download your graphic as a video if you are posting to Instagram because it only supports MP4 files. And for your website, for example, on Squarespace, videos are not able to be directly uploaded to blog posts, so you'll need to download the graphic as a GIF and then you'll be able to upload it directly into your blog post as an image. And there you have it. You don't need Photoshop to create dynamic marketing graphics for your business. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that it sparked creative ways that you can market your business.